our smartphones have surpassed humans as the world's best spies. As previously mentioned, spying is similar to playing chess in that you occasionally have to give up a piece in order to win. But isn't everything worthwhile if it's done to protect your country and benefit it? However, some citizens have betrayed their own country in real life, just as they do in movies. As in today's tale, we'll unravel about how the men charged with spying for China under official secrets act. So, in a startling development, on 22nd April, two men, including a UK parliamentary researcher, have been accused of espionage on behalf of China, prompting concerns about national security. Christopher Cash, 29, and Christopher Berry, 32, face charges under the Official Secrets Act for allegedly providing information deemed useful to an enemy, according to the Metropolitan Police. Now, the accusations have drawn strong denials from China, dismissing them as malicious slander and urging the UK to cease political manipulation. Meanwhile, counter-terrorism police have emphasised the seriousness of the allegations. With the investigation, marked by complexity, culminated in the arrest of both men last March. Mr Cash, reportedly associated with the China Research Group and with access to influential figures in the UK Parliament, is alleged to have committed offences between January 2020-22 and February 2023. Mr Berry, from Oxfordshire, faces similar allegations spanning from December 2021 to February 2023. As the legal proceedings unfold, questions arise about the implications for national security and the integrity of parliamentary institutions. How did individuals with access to sensitive information become embroiled in espionage allegations? And what measures will be taken to prevent future breaches of trust? With the case now before the courts, strict measures have been implemented to prevent any commentary that could prejudice the legal process. However, as the nation grapples with the fallout from these allegations, the need for transparency and accountability in matters of national security becomes increasingly apparent. Both will appear at Westminster Magistrates' Court on 26 April 2024.